Want to make some great four color prints on bricks like these? I'll show you the easiest way possible over this three part video series that takes you through plate making, color mixing, and machine setup. First, we would like to give a shout out to Brick Guild for providing the bricks and also the artwork used here. Their company contact information is in the link below. To start with, we are going to use a large four color plate for our professional series four color pad printer. This machine automatically registers all colors on the part, saving about 45 minutes per job over competitors equipment. More on that later. After we remove the top coat, we place the film which we printed on a high quality printer with high opacity on the steel cliche. We smooth out the film to avoid air bubbles and make sure it is free of debris. Our films have roster film built into them. Here we actually place two jobs on one side of the plate, which we can switch between quickly. Then we set our exposure time using our Mark GF exposure unit and switch the vacuum on. This ensures there are no air bubbles between the plate and the film. After exposure, we dip the entire plate into the plate developer. This developer rinses off the UV photoresist layer that isn't hardened from the UV light. This is the area that is under the black opaque area of the film where our image is. When we rinse this off, we are allowing the acid in the next step to attack this area and etch the plate. Here we can see where the developer attacked the soft photoresist layer. Now we rinse the plate with water to stop the developing process. Now we place the plate in the acid bath. We can immediately see where the acid is attacking the image area. The longer the dwell time here, the deeper the etch. Now we rinse the plate with water to stop the engraving process and clean the etch steel area out with an abrasive compound cleaner. While we watch this cleaning process, we want to take a moment to remind you to like and subscribe if you find these videos helpful. Also, take a moment to hit the bell notification to be notified when new videos post. The final step is to let the plate sit in a cleaning compound to strip the plate from all of the hardened UV film. Once again, we remove the plate and wash with water. Using compressed air, we blow the remaining water off the plate to see the exposed image. The plate looks perfect. In the next video, we will show how we mix inks and make a fixture for our next stage of printing the perfect bricks. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for your interest.